To assess for a Morton's neuroma, we're going to look at it from the sole of the foot. The first thing is to just identify in transverse section the metatarsals. Now you can see the metatarsals are nice and round, whereas if I move distally, you can see the phalanx is slightly flatter. So that's a nice bony landmark to look for. Now obviously most Morton's neuromas are between the third and the fourth toe in the third web space. So what we need to do is first of all be sure that we're on the right web space. And all we need to do is just to push from the top and you can see this is the third and then this is the fourth here. So that space in between is where we need to look. Now we're gonna do a dynamic maneuver similar to when you do a molders maneuver to look for a molders click. So if we just compress, we're looking for that tissue that comes out between the two metatarsals. Now if it's a uh, neuroma, then it's gonna be hypoechoic and non-compressible, and often you will also feel an associated click, and often the patients will feel that. If it's anechoic and compressible, then that's more likely to be a bursitis, but often, and in fact very commonly, they occur together as a neuroma, a bursal neuroma complex. Now we do need to be able to have a look at this in long section as well. So if we just go over uh, the third metatarsal phalangeal joint, we can see the plantar plate, we can see the articular cartilage, and also over the top we can see the tendon. So it's important to assess the joint, because obviously that is one of the differentials when you've got forefoot pain. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move uh, laterally, and we're gonna go to the next joint, which will be the fourth, okay? And again, you can have a look at and interrogate the structures there. If we move back into that intermetatarsal space where there's no bones, then we can sometimes identify the nerve. And then we also need to do a compression. And we can do that in two ways, because again, we want to know if this is a neuroma or a bursa. We can compress with the probe, or what I find quite useful is I can just compress with my finger and that will give us information whether the lesion that we're looking at is compressible or non-compressible. And that will give us information on whether there's a neuroma, a bursa, or most commonly, a bursal neuroma complex. Mm -hmm.